Aerial views of Tewkesbury, Massachusetts. Several people enter a large old brick building with a green steeple on top. Welcome to the Public Health Museum at the Tewkesbury Hospital. It was built in 1895, and we're very fortunate to have it as space for our museum. Two groups on guided tours walk through the museum. Health-related artifacts fill the space. A man in a suit and glasses with the title on screen, Dr. Alde Maria, epidemiologist, Massachusetts Department of Public Health. The dream of the founders of this museum was to have a place where people could learn about public health, because we know the general public knows very little. A woman with glasses with the title on screen, Dr. Sarah Levin Letterer, Education and Outreach Coordinator, NNLM. So public health is uh, community health. So it's going to the doctor, but it's also this idea of how we improve the health for everybody. Uh, making sure that water is safe, making sure that restaurants are safe, making sure that people get immunizations, their vaccinations. It's also making sure that people are informed. A poster on screen that reads, Outbreak, a student public health experience. Outbreak is a summer program that started in 2013 uh, as an experiment to bring high school students in and teach them about public health, because nobody hears about public health until they go to public health school, and it's kind of too late. A class of students sit in one of the rooms of the museum with a film projector displaying a picture of first aid. Woman in a green sweater with a title on screen, Terry Clover, 2013 Outbreak participant. I actually didn't know anything about public health before coming to Outbreak. Um, it completely changed my career path. <laughs> um, Al kind of opens up Outbreak every year with a quote that has stuck with me. Doctors have the ability to change their patients' lives, and public health has the ability to change the world, so that's when I started thinking public health. Terry was somebody who liked it so much, who was so invested in it. She studied public health, and she's working in the field now. I currently work for Cambridge Health Alliance, so uh, I'm the Planning and Operations Coordinator for the Health and Medical Coordinating Coalitions in Region 4AB. I do emergency preparedness and management for the Metro Boston area. A photo of Terry Clover and 11 other students wearing Outbreak 2013 t-shirts. You know, when I signed up for this program, I definitely did not think that it was going to completely impact my career and my life choices, um, and it did. A montage of photos show Outbreak participants in the museum working together and on field trips. Outbreak uh, has had three grants with NNLM, and the first couple of years it was really about transportation. It was about making sure that the kids could get here for free, um, and also about supporting the ability for the students to go out and have field trips. In the third year, funding helped them transition to be virtual during the pandemic. A computer screen shows students talking together through video chat. A slide shared with the students says, zombie preparedness. Photos of Terry Clover teaching in front of students at the same museum classroom she once sat in. NLM, I, I cannot stress enough the impact it has. Um, part of our mission and our vision is to be equitable. We really, we want everyone to be introduced to public health. Um, and having that grant and making this program free for students allows that. The network of the National Library of Medicine logo on a white screen. 